Hello friends. In this video, we will study about the bit manipulation instructions in 8051 microcontroller. So let us start with our topic. The 8051 microcontroller, it is the first microcontroller developed by Intel in 1980s and this is the most popular and the general purpose microcontroller available. Now in this microcontroller we have different types of instructions which perform various types of operations like addition, subtraction, logical operations and data transfer operations, jump instructions. So in this instruction set of 8051 we have various types of instructions. Now these instructions they are categorized or we can say classified into different categories on the basis of the type of operation performed by them. So if we classify all the 8051 instructions, we will get six categories and these six categories are So the total instruction set or the, all the instructions of 8051, they are classified into six categories. First, we have the data transfer instructions, arithmetic instructions, logical instructions, branch instructions, subroutine instructions and bit manipulation instructions. All these instructions we have already studied in our earlier videos. So in this video, we will study the bit manipulation instructions. We have already studied these five types in our earlier videos. So let us start with the bit manipulation instructions. In 8051 microcontroller, its complete memory is of two, it is divided into two parts. One is the program memory and second is the data memory. In the program memory, we write the programs, all the programs are stored in the program memory and data memory, it stores all the data. Now the program memory, it is of 64 kilobytes. Out of this program memory, we have some memory which is bit addressable. Out of the 64 kilobytes, we have 128 byte of memory which is bit addressable. Means that the 128 bytes of memory, the addresses of that memory location, it is bit addressable. The, we are having bit addresses for it. Now, in this bit addressable uh, 128 bytes, we have some special function registers of uh, 8051. And also we are having some port pins. Okay. Now we are having in 8051, we are having 21 special function registers. Also port pins, we are having four ports or we can say four register banks from port 0 to port 3 or we can say from register bank 0 to register bank 3. So we are having four ports and each port is of 8, 8 bits. So we are having total 32 bits and here we are having 21 special function registers. So this is how the 128 bytes of bit addressable memory is divided. 
Now these we are manipulating the bits of any of these uh, 128 bytes of bit addressable memory then that instructions they come under the category of bit manipulation instructions. So for these bit addressable locations, we are having some bitwise operations are performed like each bit, it can be, operations can be performed on each bit of these registers or these memory locations. So those instructions are called the bit manipulation instructions. Let us see that uh, which instructions come under this category. First instruction we have is logical and. Logical AND instructions, they perform the AND operation with the bits of the two destination and the source registers. If we take an example here, first we will have A, N, L. So this is the instruction ANLC comma bit. Here we are going to specify the bit address means at that bit address uh, bit is stored. So that bit and the carry flag they are ended with each other. So what this instruction is doing it is logically and carry flag. So it is going to logically and the carry and the uh, bit address is given to us. So the contents of that uh, memory location and the carry flag they are added with each other and the result is stored in the carry itself. So this is because here bit operations are performed. Carry is also a single bit either it will be 0 or it will be 1 and at that uh, memory location here also we are specifying the bit address here and that will also uh, 1 bit. So uh, all those bits because only one bit is involved so it is a type of bit manipulation instruction. Second we have is A, N, L, C and bit. Here also the carry flag and the complement of the contents of the bit address they are ended with each other. So here logically and carry and complement of content of bit address. So in this bit and the contents of the bit address and the carry here complement of the contents of bit address and carry they are logically ended with each other. Second instruction is logical or here also we are going to have two types first is ORLC comma bit and second is ORLC comma complement of bit. Okay, just like the logical and here the contents of the carry and the contents of the memory location the bit address that are uh, logically odd with each other and the result is stored in the carry itself. Here the contents are complemented the contents of the bit address they are complemented and that plus the carry they are logically odd with each other and the result is stored in the carry itself. Third type we have is CLR bit means the contents of the bit they are cleared up in this we have the examples
CLR bit means the contents of the bit address which is specified here that contents they will be cleared and here the carry will be cleared. Next we have CPL. CLR is for clearing and CPL is for complementing. So here also we will have two examples. One is CPL the bit and second is CPL the carry. So here it is going to complement the carry. means complement means if the carry flag is set it will be reset if it is reset it will be set zero is changes into one one is changed into zero cpl bit so contents of the bit address they will be complemented so these are all the four uh, bit manipulation instructions because it is involving the bit addressable memory locations of 8051 microcontroller that is why because all these operations are performed on the bit addressable memory locations that is why it is called bit manipulation instructions so i hope that this topic is clear to you thank you